Hey guys, Naders here, and today's video is going to be a bit different. It's going to be a lot more of a speculative video. Multiverses was released a little less than a month ago, and we have not had a character revealed since the cinematic launch trailer. So, in this video we will be discussing what the future holds for the Multiverses roster. There will be two parts of this video. Firstly, we will be taking a look at all the characters hinted at in the cinematic trailer and a couple other things. And then we will take a look at what the future has in store with Warner and see if we can connect that to new Multiverses content. I will not be discussing any leaks in this video. Now, I'm sure that most of you watching this have already watched a breakdown of the reveal trailer. I'm pretty old and late to the party on that. If you haven't, I'd consider watching some Papa Gino's videos. If you are looking for a trailer breakdown specifically, he covers the trailer in this video here. In that trailer, we get 17 characters that were hinted at. Those characters being the Wicked Witch of the West, Mojo Jojo, Aquaman, Shazam, Blue Beetle, Raven, Starfire, Green Lantern, Samurai Jack, Daffy Duck, Marceline, Scooby-Doo, The Animaniacs, Dexter, The Powerpuff Girls, and Pinky and the Brain. We know that this season is supposedly the season of villains, which was stated by Ajax on Twitter. I do, however, think that there is a chance that we don't get all villains this season. So far, we have gotten the Joker, Jason, and Banana Guard, who, from my understanding, is not a villain. And we know that Agent Smith is on the way. So maybe the rest of the characters we get are villains. Or maybe most of the characters we are going to get are going to be villains. Of those hinted characters that I just mentioned, only three of them are actually villains, those being the Wicked Witch, Mojo Jojo, and Pinky and the Brain. We do know that some of the hinted characters who aren't villains have main villains from their show, such as Aku being linked with Samurai Jack. But that would mean that these little easter eggs, like Jack's sword, is not actually pointing to Jack, rather pointing to Aku. I'm not sure that the devs would do that, but it could be a possibility. So, judging by this, the Wicked Witch and Mojo Jojo could be the next characters that we will see get into the game. But there are some characters that have had more than just one easter egg. Green Lantern has had his lanterns appear in both cinematic trailers. Aquaman references have appeared twice in the new cinematic trailer. Scooby-Doo has had many things pointing to him, including the Scooby Snacks easter egg, the character model in the hockey game that Multiverses did a while back, and even him showing up in the recently announced comics which also seemed to show Tweety Bird as a possible next character. Plus, it's also important to note that in the player first game's banana photos, we can see John Tobias, possibly hinting at a Mortal Kombat character due to him being the creator of Mortal Kombat, as well as a Watchmen poster. This could make sense due to a Watchmen series being recently announced. This is the next thing that I want to talk about. I'd like to take a look at some projects that are coming out in the future made by Warner. In the open beta, Black Adam came out alongside the Black Adam movie, almost as a way to promote the movie. I know that there were a lot of people who didn't like this, but I actually didn't mind it. We ended up getting a really cool character. So it is always a possibility that this could happen in the future. We could have some characters released alongside a movie to promote it. So what movies are there? Well, I have made a list of eight characters that have movies coming out in the future that we could possibly see in multiverses. Let's start off with the character who we will be seeing on the big screen very soon. That character being Hayes Ellison. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Ellison, Elison, something like that. Hayes comes from a movie called Horizon, and it releases in theaters very soon. In fact, it releases this Friday, the 28th. Now, due to the movie not being released yet, we don't really know what type of moves Hayes could have. That being said, there is a lot of fighting that takes place in the movie's trailer. Hayes is seen with two types of guns, which could be worked into his moveset, as well as a little mini fight scene. The fun part about Hayes is that the first movie is three hours long. And that's not it. The movie that comes out on Friday is the first part. Part 2 comes out later this year in August. With the movie being that long, I'm sure that a fun moveset could be made for Hayes. But would he be added? 
Well, I'm not sure how long it takes for the devs to make characters, but I'd imagine that if the first part of this film does pretty well, we could possibly be seeing Hayes get into the game around the release of the second part later this year. A character from a western style movie is not something that we have seen yet, and I think that it would be really neat to see. I've enjoyed some of Kevin Costner's previous works, I really love the Postman movie, so I have high hopes for this film. Hopefully we get to see Hayes in the future of multiverses. Next we have a character who has appeared in movies and TV shows previously. That character being Beetlejuice. There is a second Beetlejuice movie coming out later this year, and I have a pretty good feeling that we could see Beetlejuice releasing around that time. Now, because we have seen this character before, we can guess a bit at what his moveset could look like. Beetlejuice is able to transform his body into different forms, and he can fly and even teleport. All of this could make Beetlejuice have a pretty neat moveset. I'd imagine that most of his moves would be pulled from the movie and TV show, but maybe there is a chance that the devs were able to find out some info about the new movie and work in a move or two from that. I think that Beetlejuice would be a really fun character, and I hope that we get to see him in the future of Multiverses. Currently, 90% of my viewers are not subscribed, and I'm really hoping to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you have enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing. It would encourage me to make future videos, and I would be very grateful. The next character is from a movie that looks like it could be really good in my opinion. That movie being Trap. After watching the Trap trailer, I would very much like to see Cooper, the main character, show up in multiverses. Now, the trailer revealed that Cooper supposedly is actually a killer known as the Butcher. I have a feeling this movie is going to throw some big twists at us due to them revealing that Cooper is actually the killer in the trailer. That seems like something that you would wait to reveal in the movie. That being said, a killer could potentially have a really good moveset in multiverses. We have sort of seen this with Jason, which, by the way, I think shows that we could see more characters from movies that have darker premises. I kind of doubt that we will see the Butcher show up in multiverses, but from what the trailer showed, I'd definitely not be disappointed if he did. All of the characters that I'm going to be talking about next are already pre-established characters who are now getting movies or shows made about them. This does make it easier to guess at what their moveset could be. Firstly, The Penguin is getting a TV show later this year, and it looks pretty darn good. The Penguin is a really neat DC character, and we could see him being released alongside the show to promote it. From the trailers, we can see that the Penguin uses guns in the show, but we also know that he has an umbrella gun and even some Penguin minions. We know this from previous interpretations of the Penguin. The one thing that I think that could maybe make the devs not add the Penguin is the fact that the TV show that is coming out this year is actually not canon to James Gunn's DC. However, if they lean a lot more towards other interpretations of the Penguin and less on the new show, we could get a really neat character for multiverses. I've always loved the Penguin and I think it would be really neat to see him show up in the future of the multiverses roster. When I found out that the Minecraft movie is being made by Warner, I was really surprised. My mind of course immediately went to the possibility of seeing Steve show up in multiverses. Obviously Steve has already shown up in Smash, but imagine seeing the dude in multiverses as well. That could be huge. It could be kind of funny if they decided to make him look like he does in the movie. What I'm getting at is the fact that in the movie, it's going to be live action. We could potentially see a less blocky version of Steve show up in multiverses. I think that there is a lot more that we could see out of a Minecraft fighter that we did not see in Smash. I think Steve should definitely be able to utilize his bow and arrow, and maybe even a mace due to that being a newly added weapon. I think that it would be a lot of fun to play as Steve in a fighting game and not be called carried. This is assuming, of course, that the dev are able to balance him properly. I'm not sure how Microsoft would feel about a Minecraft character getting into multiverses, but I think that it would be really neat. I am looking forward to seeing the Minecraft movie, and I do hope that it ends up being good. One of the upcoming projects by Warner Animation is a Cat in the Hat movie. I grew up watching Cat in the Hat on PBS Kids, so I know that this dude has a lot of tricks up his sleeve, or rather, up his hat. There have been multiple times where I have seen this guy pull tons of items out of his hat. 
Now, due to the previous Cat in the Hat projects not being made by Warner, I think that they would have to only pull moves from the movie. That being said, there is also a movie coming out by Warner Animation titled Thing 1 and Thing 2. These are Cat in the Hat characters. So, maybe he will be showing up in two future movies. This would make a moveset easier to make. I think that it would be really neat to see the cat show up in multiverses in the future, and I think that he would bring a ton of life to the game. The next character is one that I mentioned in last week's video. Later this year, we will finally get to watch the Creature Commandos show. I'm really looking forward to this show, and I'm expecting great things from it. I would love to see Frankenstein show up in multiverses. He will be voiced by David Harbour, an actor that I really like. In the comics, Frankenstein mainly uses a sword, but he also has used guns and some other weapons. A large sword fighter would be really neat in my opinion. There is a comic called Gotham City Monsters. Frankenstein is one of the main characters in that comic. In it, he has a brick that is strapped to his arm. It is explained that the Red Phantom lives in that brick. This leads to a really cool panel where Frank chucks the brick at someone harming his teammate. When the brick comes into contact with them, the Phantom exits the brick for just a second and obliterates them. He then turns back into the brick. I think it would be really neat to incorporate this in multiverses. Maybe Frank could throw a brick, and after a few moments, Phantom pops out and attacks forward. I think this would be pretty neat. I really like Frankenstein's character design, and I am really looking forward to the release of the Creature Commandos. I hope that we could possibly see Frank in the future of multiverses. In 2026, we are supposed to get a new Supergirl movie. I've seen a lot of people want her to be added into the game, and I think that she could potentially be different from Superman. But I also wouldn't be surprised if they just made her a costume with unique voice lines over Superman. Either way, she could be released alongside the new movie, and I'd imagine fans would be pretty happy to see her included. With that, here is the final list of characters that we could be seeing in the future of multiverses. The middle section is made up of characters that have been hinted at in trailers and photos. The two side sections are characters from upcoming Warner projects. This video was a lot of fun to make, and I hope that we get to see a lot of these characters make it into the game in the future. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. It would encourage me to make future content, and I would really appreciate it. Next week, I plan on making a video on Cartoon Network characters that we could see get into multiverses, so if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week.